Alright, today I'm going to teach you guys two alternate methods to fixing side-by-side -side configuration error. I've made another video about how to do it. It didn't work for a lot of people, and I know it didn't. And in the comments section, I described uh, the method I'm about to show you, but nobody reads the comments, of course, or checks the description, so I'm making a video. For Christ's sakes, people, check the description. Check the description is there for a reason. Now, if the first video didn't work for you, you either have a bad .NET framework file or a bad Visual C++ file. Either they're corrupt, they're out of date, or they just aren't working properly. So what you need to do is you can uninstall, which I don't recommend, or you can just go to the manufacturer website and download um, the new or, or another copy of them. This is the website you come to. Uh, to download the new version just click the latest one which should be the first one and download that this is the one for the .NET framework this is the one for the Visual C++ you'll need to know if your system is a 62-bit 32-bit or 86 select your language whatever that may be click download and you select uh, the, the bit that your computer is it it's right here at the end you'll see x64 x86 and if you're 32 bit it will be it, it won't have a number it will just be the one that says arm the link to both of these will be in the description please check the description now to figure out if your computer is a 62 bit 32 bit whatever all you do is go to start type in system you can either click system or system information where you find it would be right here system type x64 that's mine yours might be something else just download the one that corresponds with uh, what your computer says so I for example I would download the 64-bit one so then download it install it restart your computer check to see if your program works if it doesn't download it again install it again restart your computer and see if it works then I recommend doing um, the visual C++ one first and then doing the .NET one after that. Don't do them both at the same time because if you do them both at the same time you'll never figure out which one was broken and if this problem happens again you're not gonna know and it's gonna be really annoying. Like I said everything should be in the description if these two methods don't work for you and the last method I uh, made a video on doesn't work for you then it's more likely you have a problem with the program you have a virus or something else that I cannot help you with. So you might have to reinstall your program, uh, restore your computer, or something else. I really hope this does work for everybody out there. And um, just let me know in the comment section. I'll update the description like I said, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.